us question the nature of divinity. I think that very often when we're young, we're told what that should be, and we're not allowed to ask about it. We're not really allowed to question it. With these two characters, Antonio and Ultima, it's wonderful for him to question. It's his job to question. And so that's very affirming. It is actually one of the drivers behind my desire to see this novel made into a film, is to put that into a much wider audience. I talk about the film and the novel being about affirmation and reconciliation, and that that's okay, that that's the way things should be. Well, I love Antonio because he poses those questions and has those wonderful dream sequences and experiences, but I really connect with Ultima. The book Bless Me Ultima was written in 1972. A friend loaned it to me in the early 80s and I kept it until last year. And it wasn't until I had a near-death experience that I realized it was seriously on my bucket list. And from that, it was simply a decision to try to go forward with that. And after that, I met a young woman, Sarah DeLeo, in Sundance. And I asked her to read it and tell me what she thought, whether or not she thought it could become a film. And she did, and so we began the journey. I didn't meet Rudolfo for some years, other than through emails and telephone calls. Sarah actually went to Rudolfo. He was very initially reluctant to make another attempt at having the, the novel made into a film. I think he had been approached and given the rights a number of times and nothing ever came of it. So it took Sarah over a year. And I believe that Rudolfo's late wife, Patricia, was very instrumental in convincing him to allow us to, to make this film. The appeal of the film has to be through the heart. And I believe that the book, the novel, has a lot of that. This is my, my piece of work. I hoped uh, that it would be a classic film, one that you can watch more than once. Well, you can watch it 10 years from now or 20 years from now, and it will still be a good film. And I think we've done that.